Good afternoon and God bless you, my most amazing artists. How are you? Ready to create. <clears throat> I make messes, I make mistakes, but deep inside, I've got what it takes. I am an artist. All right, boys and girls, in art class, today we are going to make our very first picture in our sketchbook. And nothing says Easter quite like the daffodil. So we are going to make our very own daffodil. And here I have one finished for you. And daffodils, I want to give you some fun facts about daffodils. Daffodils are a perennial. That means that they flower every year in the spring. So there's some different flowers and there's a field of daffodils right there growing in Wales. Now they flower every year in the spring and the flowers have six petals around a cup or bell-shaped center. So they have their six petals, uh, one, two, three, four, well, I only have five there, but they do in real life have six petals and then they have this little bell shape center, all right? They have mostly white or yellow, but sometimes there are some varieties that can be orange or pink in color. They have a curved stem. Uh, we're gonna draw a curved stem today. This one is straight, but they do, they're mostly slightly curved. And then they have uh, two long, narrow leaves, all right? Now, daffodils symbolized um, death and hope in the resurrection. So, and that's because they bloom at Easter. So that's why it's such a good time for us to do our Easter drawing with a daffodil. All right, boys and girls, for this project, you're going to need your sketchbook, uh, a black crayon, or a black Sharpie, your box of crayons. And that's it, so easy today. All right, boys and girls, here we go. Oh, before we start, I always wanna put a sheet of paper behind. It could be just a scrap paper, or maybe you have a piece of construction paper like I have here. And I always wanna put it behind the page that I'm drawing on just so that nothing goes through to my next page in my sketchbook, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Are you ready? All right, here we go. We're gonna start with the center of the daffodil by drawing a wiggly circle. So here I am, here's the top of my paper, the bottom of my paper, the left side of my paper, and the right side of my sketchbook paper. So I'm gonna come in here, um, about mm, four fingers down and I'm just gonna make a little wiggly and I'm using a black crayon. So we're just gonna make a wiggly circle, just like that, all right? Then we're gonna draw inside the circle, the two stamen, all right? So inside, uh, they're just kind of easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There you go. There's the two stamen inside. Now we're going to do a sideways letter U. That's going to give you that cup or bell shape. You want to start um, at the top of your, of your circle and then just go a sideways U. There you go. All right. Next, we're gonna draw three petals. Uh, and then you can add 
as many up to six, because remember they only they only have six. So it all going to depend on how much room you have, on how many petals you want to that can fit. So let's see how many I can get fit. Now petals are just a curved line. So I'm just starting at the top of my circle and I'm just gonna make a curved leaf shape. There's one, and I'm gonna come down here and then I'm gonna make another petal shape. And then I'm gonna come down here and make another one. All right, so now I have three, so I can come in and add some that overlap. And I think I'm gonna be able to get one right there. All right, so one, two, three, four. I was able to fit four on my page. All right, so you go ahead and draw in your petals. Um, you can do four like I did, or five or six. All right. All right, next we're gonna add our curvy stem. So we wanna come down to the bottom of our page. I'm gonna do like a little finger space here so that I don't go off my page. And I'm just gonna do a gentle S shape. So I'm gonna draw a curve line all the way till I get to my finger. And then I'm gonna go right next to it and I'm gonna follow it. Give a little space so that it looks like a stem that you're gonna be able to color inside that shape and then connect them together at the bottom. And there's your stem. Okay, our next and uh, last part of the flower uh, is going to be the leaves. And they have two leaves. So you wanna start at the bottom of your stem and then draw a curved line going up, 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 and over, and then come back to your stem. And then I'm gonna come over to the other side and I'm gonna draw a curvy line from the bottom and then I'm gonna turn and come back. And then just right next to my stem there. Now, daffodil leaves, they're, they're kind of floppy. They kind of hang over or droop. So we're just gonna make that happen. You come up to your end and then just draw a curve line. Come back, it's almost like a little triangle, but it's curvy, not straight, but curvy. And I'm gonna come over to my other leaf and I'm gonna draw a curve line and come back. So it looks like my leaves are folded over. And if you oops, it's okay. All right, you can always go over it and when you add your color, uh, everything will look good with color. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my ground line. That's called a horizon line. That's where the sky and the ground meet. So. I want to put mine right here. So we don't want to draw a line. It's a straight line. It's a horizontal. You want to start at the end of your paper, draw till you run into your next line, stop, jump over, and then continue going with your horizon line. That's just to give a separation from your sky and your ground. All right. Now you can add some details you if you want uh, if you want to add some clouds or a sun up here um, for mine uh, i'm not going to add any today uh, but you can add whatever details you'd like to make your picture uh, unique and special to you all right now the next part the best part is to add your color all right so i'm just using my crayons and when you go to color uh, in your shapes, because now you, your black lines have all given, made you all your shapes. So now you get to color inside those shapes. So one way to go ahead and do it is to go ahead and, and I like to go slow around the edges. So I went around 
the edge and I went slow and then you can go quick inside. There you go. So I'm gonna go slow around the edges. And then I'm gonna go quick inside. Slow around the edges. And then quicker inside till you fill it all in so that it's nice and smooth. Now, if some of the black from your crayon gets in with your yellow, it's okay. It just makes your flower uh, look more realistic and kind of gives it a little bit of shadowing. So here we go, we're gonna go slow around the edges. And then quick inside. So then you go ahead and do that with all of your shapes. Until you get your entire picture filled in and your whole page will be filled with color. All right, so it gets a little tricky in here. Go slow around your edges. And then quick inside. I'm gonna do my stamen with uh, some orange. Give it a little contrast. All right, and then let's see. I'm gonna do my stem in yellow green. This one's a little easier to color in because it's just this narrow, slender stem. And then I'm gonna take my regular green and I'm gonna go ahead and go slow around the edges. Quick inside. And see how quickly you can go ahead and color inside your shapes when you do it that way. Now, if you just had markers, uh, you could use markers for this project. Uh, if you don't have a black crayon, you could use a black oil pastel. So use, use what tools you have. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color um, I'm gonna do brown. My daffodil's in some dirt today. So you wanna go ahead and go around and then you can go ahead and fill, trace my shape and then I can fill in quick. Slow around the edges. to fill in. You know, the artist Vincent van Gogh, a fun fact, Vincent van Gogh, he painted daffodils uh, growing under trees in his landscape painting called Undergrowth. So Vincent van Gogh an old master artist. He loved to paint these. All right, I'm gonna go slow around my edge. And then quick to 
fill it in. Whoops. All right, boys and girls, we are almost done with our daffodil for Easter. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and do a blue for the sky. I'm gonna go around my edges. a nice smooth try and get your crayon to color smoothly for you make sure there's no white spaces and that you're coloring in, in one direction that's really helpful if you do little short strokes you'll find that it's easier to fill in those white spaces. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, tracing my edges slowly first. I have a big shape here. All right, now I can fill it in a little quicker. helpful having that piece of paper underneath so you can just go off your page when you oops and go off the edge uh, all those little that piece of paper will catch all those stray crayon marks all right boys and girls it's now time to sign your artist name all right so Normally, uh, you can do it with a, a black Sharpie, is what we do it in school. You can sign on the bottom left or the bottom right, uh, or you could get creative and sign along somewhere clever and creative. So I'm gonna sign mine right here. I'm gonna follow the curve of that line, this is. Maybe. There we go. So I followed the curve of my leaf, signed my artist's name because my picture is all done. And congratulations on your daffodils. You've got yours finished. I did want to share with you before we finished up, I wanted to show you Vincent Van Gogh's uh, painting under undergrowth and there we go all right boys and girls have fun happy creating happy easter god bless you all i miss you so much and i can't wait to see your easter daffodils